Hey guys, Jeremy from Cutlass Knives here, doing a review on three Spyderco knives. And, as you can see, compared to my hand, these boxes are tiny. Um, so we've got the Spyderco Grasshopper, Spyderco Honeybee, and the little guy, if I can get this box open, the Bug. So I guess we'll start off with the little guy, the bug here. Uh, overall, it's two and seven eighths inches long, so it is tiny, like really tiny compared to a quarter here. It's it's nothing. Like it weighs 0 0.4 ounces. Um, closed, it's one and five eighths or 41 millimeters. Uh, the hole, I'm not really sure why they even bothered putting a hole on it. Uh, besides having it as like their trademark, but it's not really useful. But um, anyways, it's uh, the hole is three sixteenths of an inch or five millimeters. The blade length is one and five sixteenths of an inch or thirty three millimeters. The cutting edge is one and one eighths of an inch or twenty nine millimeters. Um, the blade thickness is one sixteenth of an inch or one point seven five millimeters. Uh, this thing has stainless steel handles. Uh, the blade steel is 3CR13. And, I mean, you can't really expect any, like, super steels on a knife that's probably going to cost you around five bucks. Um, so it, it, I don't think the blade steel matters very much on this knife at all. Um, this is a slip-it knife, so there's no locking mechanism. It's just the tension on it. Um... I guess it's technically a one-handed opening, although not very easily. <laughs> yeah, technically it's one-handed, but I mean, we can say it's a two-handed. Um, it is tiny. I mean, these knives are the definition of sheeple-friendly right here. Um, the bug has been good to me. It, it'd be good for like a keychain knife or something like that um, because if it's not hooked on to something bigger you're probably going to lose it. Um, so let's move on to the middle guy, the grasshopper, or sorry the honeybee. Um, overall 3 and 5 eighth inches or 92 millimeters. Closed it's 2 and 1 16th of an inch or 52 millimeters. The hole 15 64th inches or 6 millimeters. The blade is 1 and 5 8 inches or 40, uh, 41 millimeters. The cutting edge is 1 and 3 8 of an inch or 35 millimeters. The blade thickness 5 64th of an inch or 1.9 millimeters. Uh, again, this is a slip it knife uh, with a blade steel 3CR13. And this doesn't weigh much more than the bug. It comes in at 0 0.56 ounces. And again, it's, it's just a little bit bigger than the bug. Uh, it'd probably be good for a keychain or something like that, because again, you might lose it. I'll stick in some close-up pictures at the end of this. And let's move on to the big guy, the grasshopper. Overall, it is 5 and 1 32nd inches or 128 millimeters, closed 2 and 3 quarter inches, or 70 millimeters, the hole is 9 30 seconds of an inch, or 7 millimeters, blade of 2 and 5 sixteenths of an inch, or 59 millimeters, cutting edge of 2 and 1 16th in inches, or 52 millimeters, and a blade thickness of 5 64ths of an inch, or 2.25 millimeters. And this is more like a pen knife, and again, it's a slip it. Uh, weighs in at 1.4 ounces, so it's almost three times as heavy as the uh, honeybee, which is due to its bigger stainless steel handles. Um, this is again a keychain knife. It might be a little bit big for a keychain knife. Um, I like just keeping this in my pocket just to have it around with me. Uh, Blade Steel CR13 again. Um, if you wanted to go like really hidden on this knife, I'm sure you could 
stick it in a gum packet and it would go unnoticed. Like it's, all these knives are really tiny. Again, comparison of the quarter. And I'll stick some close up pictures on this. Um, all of the knives have the Spyderco logo on them, but they do have a large space on them for engraving if you wish to do so. Which really, that, that would be pretty cool having your name or whatever engraved on them. Um, this you could find for five bucks, the bug. Um, I'm sure you could find the honeybee for around seven or so, and the grasshopper around ten ish. I ended up getting all three of these on eBay for a combined thirty dollars with shipping. Um, I didn't really bother looking around for a better price. I thought that was good enough for these three knives, which I'm glad I did because these three knives are amazing for their size. I mean. They all came razor sharp, and it just proves that you don't need a big knife, say, like this monster tenacious, to cut really well. I mean, open, the bug fits on the blade. <laughs> like, that's just ridiculous. Um, yeah, overall impressions on these knives, um, they're all amazing. Um, if you don't have one, at least go out and pick the bug up. I mean, it's around five bucks. Um, it'll be worth it. Just stick it on your keychain or something, and you won't notice it's there until you need it. <laughs> and it's not—it's not a horrible cutter. I mean, it—it it slices and dices pretty well for its size. Um, so yeah, pick them up. Um, amazing prices on them. You can't go wrong with them. And I guess this finishes the review, uh, Cutlass Knives.